Hi, my name is Ellie Talkington, and I'm talking to you about the Middle Colonies. The Middle Colonies consisted of New York, Pennsylvania, Delaware, and New Jersey. Important people. Some important people were the Quakers, who were Protestant dissenters that developed a good relationship with Pennsylvania tribes and helped create a tolerant colony. The artisans, who were craftspeople, who made roads, tables, glass, furniture, and much more. William Penn, who was a Quaker who was given the land which is now Pennsylvania to pay off a debt from Charles II in 1681. The Germans. The Germans arrived in Middle Colonies through 1710 to 1740 to be one of the largest immigrant groups in the region. They brought great farming and craft skills with them that soon influenced the colony with their culture. Major events. Some major events were when the first free black community developed in 1644. Free black men and women worked as laborers, servants, and sailors. Another important event was when the Quakers condemned slavery. The Quakers were the first to condemn slavery while some white men were starting to speak out. In 1688, the Quakers in Pennsylvania issued a statement against slavery, and it took off from there. The last major event was when the Germans came. The German greatly influenced the Middle Colonies with great farming and craft skills. Because of this, the Middle Colonies didn't require as many slaves. A great example would be when the Germans built the Constantinople wagons. These carried produce to town with wide wheels, rain protection, and spilling-proof beds. This was considered an amazing invention. Climate. The Middle Colonies had a large growing season and good crops, which means they had a great weather. They had good enough soil for cash crops. The German and Dutch knew how and were able to produce crops so the slaves weren't needed as much. Trade and jobs. The Middle Colonies had an enormous trade due to their large growing season and their harbors that were ideal for trade. The Middle Colonies produced lots of grain, giving their name the Breadbasket Colony. They also traded fur, timber, etc. Enslaved African Americans worked as servants, drivers, and much more. Free men also worked as fur trappers, lumbers, shippers, slave traders, and farmers. Lifestyle. The Middle Colonies had lots of diversity and tolerance. The Middle Colonies had lots of diversity because there was lots of different cultures and religions. They were a tolerant colony because the Middle Colonies accepted and worked with all the different religions and cultures. The Middle Colonies only had 7% slaves because the Dutch and German were able to do the work for the crops. The end.